Philadelphia seemed exciting, but I just assumed it was illegal. That was until one day I'm in a gas station and I see it being sold behind the counter. I'm like, sir, what is that? And he says, no! I'm like, sir, I'm sorry, I don't speak Indian. Could you please just hand that to me? And to my surprise, it was actually salvia. Now, for those who don't know, salvia is from a plant known as salvia durinium, and when ingested, can induce hallucinations. You can buy the concentrate version, which ranges from 10x to 60x, and I didn't really have the desire to do it more than once, so I just bought the highest dosage. So on a beautiful summer day, I went to the park with four friends. We heard the proper way to ingest it was to inhale it and hold it in as long as you could. Was this accurate, or just some stoner describing how the lack of oxygen makes you trip harder? Either way, we all decided to give it a try. So I took a hit, held it in as long as I could, and when I exhaled, reality completely changed. The ground became wavy, like I was standing in an ocean. The trees were dancing back and forth, and all my friends kind of looked like genies. Realizing I'm tripping balls, I thought it'd be a great idea to ride some swings. So I bolted as fast as I could to the nearest playground. As I'm running, I hear one of my friends yell, STAB HIM IN THE MOUTH, BARRY! Keep in mind, my name isn't Barry, and I'm not sure who he wanted me to stab. Anyway, I got to the swings and hung out there for a little bit until my high wore off. You see, the high you get is super short, literally only about 10 minutes. However, when you come down, there is a huge side effect in that it makes you literally retarded. Now, I know that may not be the politically correct term, but I'm not talking about the developmentally disabled. I'm saying it makes you f***ing stupid i.e. retarded. Imagine your brain is like a battery, where typically you're between 85 and 100%. Well, when you come down after salvia, your brain's at 5%. Forming complete sentences is a struggle. You basically revert to being a newborn baby. And this takes hours to go away. Worst part is, you know how stupid you are. Like, normally I'm jealous of mentally challenged people. I feel like I'm one can of pain away from being like... <sighs> Yay, butterfly. But you're not blissfully stupid. You're like depressingly stupid. Eventually, many hours later, when our brains have mostly recovered, we all discuss what happened. And I thought my experience was weird, but my friends were weirder. My buddy Phil says he saw Mario shooting fireballs down his arm. My buddy Sean says he saw a giant bee in the sky that landed on him, and he kept freaking out he was going to be stung. And my friend Katie says she saw Jesus in the clouds eating Hot Pockets. I'm like, damn it. I only got wavy genies, and Katie is over here seeing Christ eat some snacks. So then I asked my buddy Phil, why did you call me Barry? He said, because I thought you were the Flash. Which I guess makes sense because I did kind of randomly run away as fast as I could. But then I was like, okay, but who did you want me to stab? He says, hello, Mario was tossing fireballs down my bicep. I wanted you to get rid of him. I'm like, holy tits, your brain, 10 seconds into a drug, went to pure violence. Remind me never to do drugs with you again. Anyway, was Salvia worth doing? No. Sure, it was great getting a few funny stories from friends, but the feeling of idiot you see afterwards was unbearable. Uh, listen, I wasn't born looking like Ryan Reynolds after an oil spill. All I got going for me is my personality. So I'd rather not treat my brain like I took a car ride with Chris Brown. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button? Oh, push the button. Push the button.